This dice breaker video is sponsored by Wild Bills. Ditch the manufactured flavors. Your taste buds deserve better. Treat yourself to Wild Bills premium handcrafted soda pop. Mouthwatering beverages that allow you to escape to the most interesting places imaginable. Cheers to refusing the drink from the mainstream. Cheers to kick ass canned. Cheers to being veteran owned and operated. At Wild Bills, flavor isn't everything. It's the only thing. Use discount code CHEERS15 for 15% off your first order. Hello and welcome back to Dicebreaker where today I've never played Hive. Despite chess it being with like bugs. the board game about bugs and chess. And oh, for God's sake, Toto, get down. That's right. not a bug, or, nor is it a chess piece. He's uh, as annoying as a bug sometimes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Matt, what the hell is this? <laughs> so Hive is uh, chess. Like I say, it's, it's chess with bugs. Um, it is. It's chess with bugs. <laughs> fantastic game that came out, I think, like a good long time, like maybe even almost 20 years ago at this point. Uh, it's by a designer called John Yanni. <laughs> Um, and it is, it's an abstract strategy game, which makes it immediately sound very boring. Um, <laughs> but actually, it's bloody brilliant. It is a game in which you have, um, it's a two-player game, as you can probably see. We have white and black pieces, much like chess. Uh, the aim of the game is very simple. It's to surround your opponent's queen bee. Uh, so, like you want to take the king in chess, you're just looking to surround uh, your opponent's queen bee with six pieces. One of the things about Hive, um, and the reason I will keep calling it Chess with Bugs, uh, is that, like chess, each of the pieces you kind of see in front of us moves in a very specific way. Yeah. So, like, you've got your knight that does the L shape. Here, you've got a grasshopper that jumps over <coughs> things. You've got an ant that, like, moves around the edge of things, crawls around the edge. Spider that moves specifically free spaces. Uh, the beetle that can crawl on top of things. Um, and that's basically it. There are some expansions, but we're not playing with them today. They're over and there, we don't. Generally, I, I play Vanilla Hive because it's easy to remember. Um, and the other thing that sets Hive apart from chess, though, is that you'll see there's no board. Yeah, uh, we're playing a tabletop sim here, so we've got like a virtual table, but there's no board for Hive. So we're actually going to kind of build the board as we go. Okay. So you start the game by putting, taking turns to put pieces down. So you can't, on your turn, you can either add a piece to the hive mm -hmm. or you can move a piece, but you can only move a piece once your queen bee is down. And if your queen bee isn't down by your fourth turn, uh, you're forced to put it down. Okay. So there are kind of, hive is very simple. Um, I'll no doubt forget some rules. Uh, apologies to hive purists in the chat. Um, <laughs> but generally you always have to add a piece so it's touching one of your own pieces so it can't touch your opponent's piece okay um you can never break the hive in two so even if you're moving a piece and it temporarily splits the hive into two kind of sections pieces always have to touch so right. it has to be one connected mass so you're like i say you're kind of forming the board and the only exception to not being able or placing next to your own color is the very first turn because we will have to place next to each other. Yeah. Um, those are kind of your core rules. Um, there are rules like you also can't, um, if a piece physically wouldn't slide out um, from being surrounded by others, uh, which obviously on tabletop sim is a little bit different, you wouldn't be able to move it unless it's a hopper or a beetle. Uh, which are the only two that can kind of like jump into a space that's surrounded or okay. crawl over into a space that's surrounded. Um, generally, it's very simple. I'm probably overloading you of rules there, but I think one of the things that <laughs> is bit. very good about Hive is, like I say, it sounds dry on paper because you say abstract strategy game and people are like, oh, that sounds bad. Yeah, but I think actually the fact it's about bugs makes it easy to remember once you've played it like once or twice yeah. because the things act like you'd expect yeah like jump, gra grasshopper jumping yeah. makes sense right whereas like a knight moving in an l shape over other things makes absolutely no sense whatsoever or <laughs> yeah. a castle moving in a straight line or moving at all yeah um <laughs> so yeah and the fact it's all hexes and it's bugs like it's it's all very kind of um neat uh, even though it's obviously not very thematically <laughs> rich it well, is just you say that but like this is how they they kill 
insects, isn't it? They like bees surrounding will just them on six swarm sides. them and then just like like overheat them until they explode or whatever. I there um, are bugs you, that do. You that. know more about bugs than me, apparently. <laughs> it's... Well, I'm crawling with them. Uh, I know that so, bees are good. People should be friendly to bees. Yeah, I'm just going to point out, by the way, this is a lovely little tabletop sim mod that we're using, um, which is very, very slick. Actually, it looks yeah, very it's nice. Got, like some little like if Pokemon you, grass. If you hover your if you hover your camera over the board, look, it's got like a metallic green rim, which looks very nice. But also, I tried to look at the back of the box because the box was just so lovely, and realistic. There's a horrible spider behind there, just waiting for me. Is there? Oh God! Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't like that. So there you go. Right. <clears throat> uh, so I, I put on some right? shorts the other day, and a spider crawled out of them. All oh, please! And onto don't. my body, and it was it was deeply <coughs> distressing. These that shorts were, awful. I would like to say, clean as well. They weren't like on the floor or something like that. I picked them up off like literally the the washing like era. I went. I went to uh, and get there was some, a big old spider. I went to go get some shoes from the old flat because I've moved, and and like Jake obviously doesn't use that cupboard because it was just full of spiders, and I was like, this is the worst thing I've. Oh, ever that's just the spider cupboard. Every yeah. yeah, every house has to have a spider cupboard. It's not a home <laughs> until it's got a spider cupboard. Right. Okay. Well, we rolled this die, and it came up red, which means mm -hmm. that I'm going first. So I can just pick any piece to place down, can I? Yeah, so like I say, you have to place the B within your first four turns, okay. um, but you can place any. Uh, okay, Grasshopper. Interesting, Young Grasshopper. Interesting, interesting yeah. move. Thank uh, you. Opening I thought with the so too. Oh, no, sorry. I placed an ant, but I meant to place a spider. Okay. Cheating like I say, not a bug expert. <laughs> um, I will place an ant here. Hmm. Um, so I think folks should be able to see on your screen. It kind of describes what the various things yeah, do down the side. Yeah, we've got on the right hand side. Um, but like I say, it's it's relatively straightforward. So ants can crawl around the edge to wherever they want. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got to put this here. Um, uh, grasshoppers jump in a straight line, so they jump to the first available free space. Okay. So they can jump over unlimited pieces technically. Right. Um, but they always jump from an edge rather than a corner. Okay. So there's a lot of like edge stuff in this. So spiders crawl exactly three spaces, no more, no less. Um, so it's almost like you're rotating them round the edge of a hexagon. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. You put your B. Nice. Uh, I'm also going to play my B on the third turn. All right. So both our Bs are down. So now, now, now we can move, right? Foot. Uh, yeah. So now we're allowed to move pieces. So you either move or you place, and you can never remove pieces once they're down. Okay. So pieces don't get taken in in this game either. Uh, all they do is basically get trapped. So you're looking to really kind of like trap your opponent's pieces. And that's where the rule about never splitting the hive comes into effect, because at points you can move a piece so that your opponent's piece only has one of your pieces oh. in between or one of their own pieces, so they so it, can't move it yeah. because it would split it into two. So, so if I had done that, your ant is stuck until you can... Exactly, yeah. yeah I wouldn't okay. be able to move that ant. Okay, got it. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to put a beetle here. So yeah, so beetles move one space, but they can crawl on top of other pieces. So whereas most of them move around the edge, beetles can go on top, so it can stack on top of this spider, for instance. Okay. And then it would move one at a time. And when a beetle is on top of a piece, it counts, uh, that stack counts as whatever's on top. So if I were to move my beetle on top of your beetle, I could then place next to it. So they're like oh. they're almost like little moving spawn points. Oh god! Because you yeah, can okay. use them to sneak bugs in around the back of your opponent's defenses. So I'm going to move this here. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will also say that uh, we're obviously playing on tabletop sim because we cannot be in the same room together at the moment. Uh, but the the ver hive in person has these like really good chunky tiles. Packy. <laughs> yeah, like it's like it's up there with Azul as like one of the most satisfying, like uh, like physical games in that they're big and chunky and like you can take them on holiday. They're waterproof. You can play on the beach and stuff like that. Like it's something I always take in my bag if I'm going away. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Nice. Yeah. So ants can move unlimited spaces around the edge. Um, for those wondering, uh, the bee can move one space. Okay. Uh, I think that's all of them uh, explained at that point. Uh, 
So already, I feel like I'm missing about twenty moves a turn. Do you know what I mean? It is one of those things where it's kind of overwhelming because you're like, oh, like there's a lot of strategy. It's like yeah. chess. It's like you can play it to any degree of skill. Uh, and despite really enjoying this game, my skill level is very low. Okay. Ah, interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move this grasshopper here. Okay. But yeah, like that, I just jump to the next available free space okay. so I can jump over both those pieces. So I'm going to spawn a spider here. Uh huh. And then I'm going to jump this grasshopper here. Uh, I will spawn another spider here. <laughs> So it's worth saying as well that in terms of surrounding your opponent B, it's not just your pieces, it's any piece. Yeah. So like for instance here with Wills' B, um, your grasshopper counts against it, because obviously a lot of the time uh, there will be various things. Oh, this is not looking good for me. <laughs> this uh, is good, but, right? <laughs> I think I'm doing well here, but, as far as I'm aware. Uh, <coughs> check this out. Ooh. So you can't place into that hole, um, like either of these holes. Okay. Because A, my pieces are there, and B, they're fully surrounded. Uh, okay. Um... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but if I were to, for example, put that there... That would be able uh, to jump. Oh, sorry, the grasshopper. <laughs> yeah, this grasshopper. I don't think you can place that because it's next to my ant. Oh, of course I can't. Yeah, no, my bad. Uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. okay. Um, I'm just gonna double check about the rule of. Uh, maybe you can place into uh, a hole, but only if it's only touching your pieces. Yeah, so it's unlikely. Yeah, right now the issue is that the that's black all over here. Yeah, so I'm kind of defending. So you would need to maneuver your pieces in there. Um, but it basically stops you being able to place right next to the bee. Oh, wait, did you spawn a spider next to it? Oh, it was a beetle at the time, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Ah. Well, I'm going to move this ant here. Okay. I'm going to do... So, okay, the the beetle moves one space only, but it can climb on top of the So I'm just going to move there for now. Oh, wait, hold on. Mm, mm, sorry. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I think you might have got me here, because I don't think I can uh, get out of it. Because I've got to move that beetle to move the spider. So I think I'm a bit... Oh, no, I tell you what. Oh, no, that doesn't stop it, does it? I mean, I know what you could do, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> wait, I think... Like that, that stops you moving in there. For now. Now. Because I've blocked the, the gap. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> um... So, that's game, right? No, because you can't get in there. That piece physically won't fit through that gap. Okay, right, okay. That I need explaining. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, I'm just going to double check this, but I'm almost certain that that's the rule. Is So, if you can't physically slide it between two pieces, which obviously is a little bit different. Okay. Um, but I'm relatively certain that you... Like there, you see, you wouldn't be able to physically just slide it between those. So, because it's surrounded by five, that hole, mm -hmm. it essentially means only a beetle or a grasshopper could get in there. Right. 
I will do that instead then. I'm pretty certain that that's the rule. <laughs> I don't it's know, like... Matt. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that is the. It's the it's the freedom to move rule. Got it. Um, yeah, which is. The creatures can only move in a sliding movement. If a piece is surrounded to the point that it can no longer physically slide out of its position, it may not be moved. So what um, about a grasshopper then? Grasshopper can, because it jumps over. Right. So that's the benefit of grasshoppers and beetles. <coughs> they, because they move over things, right. they can move directly down into holes. Okay, okay. I've, so, got, it. I've got it. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. wait, sorry. I'm I'm put my piece back now. <laughs> yeah. Um, one... Two, three. It's one of the cool things about Hive is like everything just kind of moves. Like mm. the board just constantly changes shape. Uh huh. <laughs> you keep doing these little knowing laughs and I'm like, I don't know if that was good or not. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, like, that was that was good. It's just me more being like, oh, like, now I have to go and chase your bee over there. Yeah. <laughs> I think... So got quite a bit. Yeah, I was going to say, I've, like, forgotten about the rest of my pieces that are just sat. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's fine. One, two, three. Yeah, all good. Yeah, nice. Mmm, this is bad time for me, huh? Mmm. <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything about that because your beetle is just going to hop on down and you've surrounded me. So I think that's game. For yeah. Two, three. I'll let you. I'll let you play it out. So there it is. Oh, there we go. Nicely played. Four whites around as well. I was just. Too busy chasing your bee everywhere. <laughs> Pure uh, distraction technique. Play another game? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this tabletop team has a reset button. Uh, uh, we just take the tiles back. It should be right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's hive basically. That is that is all of hive. Like I say, there are the expansions. So you get a mosquito, which I think clones the power of the piece that's adjacent to it. Oh God. The pill bug. I can't remember what the pill bug does. Pillbug, um, it says you move one space or move adjacent insect on top of Pillbug. Oh, down. so it picks oh, so things you can up shift and put it other down. pieces. Wow, that's cool. Um, and the ladybug, I think, just moves a bunch. So things can jump over Pillbugs, basically. Yeah, I think the ladybug kind of works like a beetle in the but you can't stay on top of things. It has to always move, so it then is off of other pieces. It can move across. Move two on top, then one down. Oh, okay, right. Oh, so it has to move a fixed number. Interesting. Okay, interesting. All right. But yeah, okay, like do you want say, to go I, first? Uh, sure, I'll either go first. Um, <clears throat> I've always just played Vanilla Hive um, and always found it just kind of like chess. It's like one of those perfectly formed games yeah. for me. It's so simple, it's relatively quick to teach. It fits nicely in a bag. I think it costs about 10 quid as well. It's not expensive. It seems like it would be a lovely little... Like Love Letter, you know? Like a lovely cheap mm. little thing that you can just take with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... All right. We're on. Here we go. It's bug time, baby. <laughs> the first few bugs you place are kind of useless because they're always going to be locked. Well, I think there are... Like chess, I think there are a few opening strategies that people use mm. so because like the yeah the first one you place tends to be locked obviously like a grasshopper or a beetle can quickly get out later on once uh there are more kind of options to move around yeah one two three um Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
source of the flames. Like the first few turns are like, okay, I'm putting down this, I've got a plan, and then you just get into like, oh no. You just find one thing, one thing has happened, you're like, oh, oh, yeah. that screwed me. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, not quite, mate. That should be attached, <laughs> to, attached to that spider. Okay, nice. That's a, a good block. Uh. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, that could not oh, slide. Oh, it can't slide, can it? Jeez. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think that is the, like, this benefits from being in person because you can physically slide the bits around. Uh, okay. I feel, I feel like I'm very much on the defensive here. Yeah, I feel like you're in the position I was in last time. <laughs> um, actually, no, not that. Yes. Okay, yeah. <sighs> oh, this game's so good. Uh, this really uh, re reminded me how good this game is. It's just great. <laughs> Don't yeah. really have any other options. <laughs> Problem is, every turn that you are defending, you're not yeah. attacking. Do you know what I mean? If you always open up another space somewhere else. That's the problem. It's like you stop my grasshopper, but now, yeah. <sighs> okay. Um mm. I don't know if that's good or not, but here we are. I mean you've like you've blocked me getting in that gap, so yeah. For now. <laughs> yeah. uh... <laughs> I don't have any time to place anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you're defending really well. It's tricky for me to just, like, find an opening to get in. Mm. But... <laughs> there are many grasshoppers coming in. The grasshoppers, I find, are some of the like most difficult pieces to deal with. Yeah, because they can just literally like jump in out of nowhere. They can just jump across the board if you yeah. line things up. And the beetles are slow, so you can kind of deal with them. <laughs> <laughs> this is this like can only last so long. I have no more pieces, so I'm get, I've got a. I have to move. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, tricky one. <laughs> this is brilliant, by the way. It's great, right? So I, I was saying to you just before we came on, like, when I played it for the first time, I was just like, this is a real... 
Like it's just one of those games where you're like, it's so simple, but actually, yeah, it's just brilliant. Like it's like really competitive. Like the pieces make sense when you look at them once you've kind of learned the basic rules. It's mm. like, oh, I know what a spider does. Oh, I know what an ant does. The beetle crawls on top. Of course it does. Um, oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Um, can I do this? Yeah, it, yeah, that's one. It didn't break the, didn't break it into two pieces at any point. So you can, okay. you can absolutely do that. <coughs> uh, as, as far as I know. I'm trying to remember that your queen is down here. <laughs> I have to like rotate the camera a little bit to see the uh, the three D effect. Mm. <clears throat> um, I have got a lot of your pieces locked, haven't I? Yeah, but the thing is that you also are locked by that. Yeah, like, you can't move because it will free my pieces up. That's really annoying. <laughs> ah. Now oh, there's an idea. Okay. Is that a jump? Yeah, because it's technically the next available right. space down on the south face for me. Okay. What? Why are you shouting at me? I'm busy being a strategic mastermind over here, Toto. Um... <laughs> For God's sake. You're so loud. Um... Um... Okay. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. So I was just reading the, like, the specifics. So you can, the first time you place a piece, you can place it into a surrounded space as long as it's surrounded by pieces of your own colour. Right. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It just has to be next to white. Yeah, you just can't move into it from then on because the sliding rule uh, applies for that. So you can't spawn anything else right now, can you? No, all my pieces are out. Have you got any pieces left? I've got three oh, yeah, pieces. Yeah, you've got three left. pieces, yeah. You're going to sit there, are you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't think I could move my grasshopper like that, actually. No? No, I was just double checking. You have to move over at least one piece. So I will move it back. And I've just not I've taken that down. So no, just do just do, do something in, do something else instead, and then I'll I'll take my move back. I will jump to here instead. So yeah, it has to move over at least one. That's my bad. Okay. Uh, I think I will still do that. <coughs> yeah, and then I'll jump to here. <coughs> one, two, three. Mm. These ants are real pests at the top. <laughs> Not to make a, a bug pun, but <laughs> just locked out. You're sure. kind of forced to just do the same move over and over again, which I'm kind of. Yeah. Wondering. Like, I kind of have to make an opening at some point for you, and that's what I don't want to do by forming like a bridge to free up my other pieces, but. Mm -hmm. It just means I'm kind of swapping between the different pieces, but... Hmm. <laughs> this... It's tricky. I thought I was in a pretty weak position, but I feel okay at the moment. I did some effective blocking. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> what he's thinking about it. I'm, I'm just genuinely trying to work out. It's the thing that I, I'm not very good in games of planning like four turns ahead. I oh, me neither. Precisely I'm, 30 seconds into the future. <laughs> I am just putting out fires <laughs> as they come up. Okay. You're doing that? Okay. Yes. I think it's a good thing to do. Who know. could say, Matt? Who could we'll say? We'll find out, I suppose. Oh. I think I, I forgot that if you... Oh. Oh. What have you done? <laughs> right, look. There you go. Hold on, it's fine. Put that, it's fine. Put that there we go. There we go. And then that's on there, right? Uh, I don't love what's going on across the other side of the board. Yeah, the thing is, all your ants are locked up right now. Yeah. Which means you don't have much of a fast way of getting over. What have you got? You've got a grasshopper. But you can't place next to mine there, so you're at least a couple turns off. Because you'd be touching my ant or spider. Okay, well, I'm going to go here. And see what happens. Ah. Aha, see? I've connected your ants with my beetle. Uh that works, doesn't it? I think. Yeah, it does work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a bit annoying, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All that planning and for what? Eh, such is the life of a bug. <laughs> That's bug Are life. we just like bug, <laughs> bug commanders in this? We're just commanding a legion of bugs? Yeah. But we've somehow formed, like, it's like Lord of the Rings. We've brought all the bugs together to face the threat of our bugs. I think that makes perfect sense, yeah. You know, the ants are the only creature other than humans that have wars. Really? Here's a little bug fact for you. <laughs> I used to, I used to have an facts. ant farm. Here on Dicebreaker. I believe they're also among the only other creatures other than humans that bury their dead as well. Because huh. um, when I had an ant farm, if any of them passed away, they would just, like build a little tunnel and then move them down there and then fill it in. Was it an alien ant farm? Uh, it was not an alien ant farm, no. Um, but I did... Go to the movies. I don't know. I can't make <laughs> an alien ant farm reference. That is a great song, by the way. Uh, oh gosh, uh, what I do think I, do? I might have you here, mate. You got to do something. Yeah, this is tricky. I, I, hmm. Mm. I've gotten rid of your, your beetles, which I think is actually really important. Yeah, they're just kind of stranded out there. The main threat is your two ants. Oh god, I genuinely not sure what to do because <laughs> i think you might have me and i'm just desperately searching for an opening but i don't think that opening exists you've created a monster here, just, Matt. you've <laughs> anted me oh. yeah because i'm i'm just kind of stuck aren't i like mm. although you can't place here so you would need to move into there because it's next to my spider and ant Although you've got your beetle, haven't you? That's the problem. You've got your beetle just squatting up top. Just waiting. Yeah. Like the Rasmus. Uh, all right. Well. Mm, 
Oh, I just I feel like I'm just delaying the inevitable at some point. I'm just trying to scheme my way out of a thing that I'm already stuck. <laughs> I've got my next three turns already sorted in my head, so <coughs> Yeah, well assume you're gonna place that grasshopper and then move your beetle down. That mm -hmm. seems the And I don't know what I can do about that. <laughs> I don't think you honest. can do anything about it, Matt. No, I don't think I can. It's disappointing though. This is tw this is like two for two now because I introduced you to Lost Cities and you beat me <laughs> soundly at that, and then I introduced you to Hive and you're just going to beat me twice in a row. <laughs> we don't what won't bother the best of three. There we go. All right, fine. Let's let's just do this, shall we? So I'm going to pop that there. Oh, that wasn't what I was expecting. I would never do what you're expecting, Matt. Uh... <laughs> that beat was really annoying just squatting up there because <laughs> I was just thinking even if I built a different like even if I filled in these slots along here to try and break <coughs> the spider it would take me so many turns mm. so I'm just going to go here I'm just a very gracious uh, board game introducer in the, you know, I like to introduce a board game and then immediately lose. <laughs> uh, just to really... Oh, wait. Yeah, see, I only had a couple of options there. Uh -huh. But I think I'm still all right. Because I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, hold on. I was there, right? Yeah, you were there. Um, no, I think I'd rather do it th I, this way. Oh, but now the now the turn tables wheels. Oh, what? You can't? Can you move in there? It slides out, right? Oh no! <laughs> it would slide out and slide in. Oh god, damn it! Because it's not filled on five sides. Oh, types. it was a turn away. I can't believe that. I, yeah, that was close. Well, because the, the problem was, right, because I was in this situation here, um, and I thought you would have used your spider to, your ant, sorry, to block my grasshopper. So mm, I was like, I oh, think I've wasn't got my ant stuck. Huh? I think my ant was stuck, though. That was my problem. No, I think you had... Well, maybe it was this ant. Yeah, yeah, you had this ant here. Because okay. so, originally I was just going to move him down here, and then on the next turn over, uh, stop yeah. that, and then that would stop you moving your, uh, your other ant, but... Oh, God, I threw it away there right we go. at the end. Well played. One one each. Yeah, this game's hard. That was close, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I I was just lucky with that opening. Because I think if you'd moved your beetle down first, mm. like, I would have been stuffed because I couldn't have then moved. I yeah, but think. again, if you just put your hand uh, there, I think you would have True, stale, yeah. But then that potentially then just, like, weakens my attack on your, your bee. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there we go. That's Hive. <laughs> um, Tip for tap. A game that you, Wills, had never played until today. I have today. never played Hive until today, uh, and it turns out I'm not bad at it. <laughs> it's it's a very good game. Like I say, for folks who are after it, I think it's pretty widely available. It's um, it's super available, yeah. If you go yeah, to a board game shop, then they'll likely have it. Yeah, there's like, like I said, there's the, the free expansions, where you can find the normal one, or there's like a pocket version, which I think is the one I have, that's mm -hmm. like slightly smaller pieces, but they're still very clacky. And take it in the uh, pub. Yeah, it's, it's a good game. It's waterproof. It travels well in a bag. Like I say, I take it like every time I go on holiday because it's just it's just great and it's, uh, it's I'm really, going to really do the good. outro to the video now because Toto is using the litter tray next to me <laughs> thank you very much for watching everyone this has been uh, Matt and Wheels playing Hive here on Dice Breaker if this is your first time here please do hit the subscribe button you can also click the bell icon to get notified pardon me whenever we put a new video live we have loads of links in the description to all kinds of stuff that we do including dicebreaker.com where we have all sorts of fantastic editorial stuff as headed up by our editor-in-chief here Matt Jarvis uh, we've got a link for you to subscribe to our brand new membership program, Dicebreaker Plus, where you get brand new exclusive videos and emotes and badges, and I'm going to cough again, <coughs> as well as a link to our new um, our new home for merch, which is over on the Repop website. So go and have a look at that because we've got some brand new items in right now that are very très sexy. Uh, so please do enjoy that. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. But until then, have 
a lovely day. Goodbye. Bye-bye.